Good morning, grade 8 students, and welcome to a new English lesson. Our lesson today is 6C Grammar. Let's have a look on our two objectives for today. By the end of this video, you will be able to 1. Identify the use and structure of zero conditional. 2. Practice the use of zero conditional in different exercises. Please have your student's book and workbook opened on the following pages, and whenever you're ready, let's begin. As a starter, let's read the following sentences together. When water boils, it turns into vapor. When we use solar energy, we protect the earth. When we water a plant, it grows. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. Now tell me, what do these sentences refer to? Can you agree or disagree with the information in these sentences? Let's take a look on the first example. When water boils, it turns into vapor. Can you disagree with this information? Of course not. Then these sentences are facts or general truths. That's right. Now read each sentence again slowly. Find the verbs and notice the number of verbs in each sentence. But before we start, let's remember together, what's the meaning of verbs? That's correct. Verbs are words that show an action. Number one, when water boils, it turns into vapor. Where is the action in this sentence? That's correct, boils. Is there any other action? Excellent, turns. That's right. Number two, when we use solar energy, we protect the earth. Where is the verb in this sentence? Use. Excellent. Any other verb? Well done, protect. That's right. Number three, when we water a plant, it grows. Where is the verb? Water. That's it? No, excellent. Grows. Last one. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. Where are the verbs here? Mix and get. Good job. Now tell me. How many verbs do we have in each sentence? That's right, we have two verbs in each sentence. I want you to take a look on the sentences again and notice. What do they start with? Good job, they either start with when or if. Excellent, grade eight. Let's read the examples and answer the questions below. If we recycle, we reduce the natural resources we use. When water freezes, it turns to ice. Question number one. Do these sentences refer to something that is likely to happen, something that might happen or might not happen, or to a general truth or fact? Let's read again example number two. When water freezes, it turns to ice. Is it possible that when water freezes, it doesn't turn into ice? Could this happen? Of course not. Then it refers to what? That's right, to a general truth or fact. Question number two. Could if be replaced by when without changing the meaning? Let's go and read again example number one. If we recycle, we reduce the natural resources we use. Can we replace if by when? Let's see. When we recycle, we reduce the natural resources we use. Did it change the meaning of the sentence? Of course not. Then the answer is, yes, it could be replaced by when without changing the meaning. Excellent job, grade 8. Let's 
see how the zero conditional sentence is formed. Read the following examples. If you heat metal, it expands. Number two, when my baby sister wakes up, she cries a lot. Now let's detect the verbs in the sentences. Sentence number one, heat and expands. That's right. Sentence number two, wakes and cries. Okay, take a look on the verbs and tell me. Which tense is used in the following two sentences? Think about it. That's correct, the present simple. Let's remember together how we form the present simple tense. If we have he, she, or it, we add s or es to the verb. That's correct. If we have I, we, you, or they, we just put the verb as it is. In the base form, we do not add anything. That's correct. Now it's time to elicit the rule. I want you to pause the video, read again the examples in exercise B and complete the rule. Are you done? Now let's check your answers. If or what plus present simple. If or when, that's correct. What about the second part of the sentence? The verb is in the present simple, that's right. So the rule is if or when plus present simple and in the second part of the sentence, the verb is also in the present simple. Excellent job, grade 8! So, when we are talking about general truth or facts, and the two parts of the sentence are in the present simple, then the structure used is... Well done! The zero conditional. That's right! Let's have a look on more examples. In your student's book, page 77, match the two halves of the sentences in exercise C. Now pause the video and start. Are you done? Let's check the answers. When the weather is bad, that's right, we don't go diving. If I don't have breakfast, I'm hungry all day. I relax. Excellent, when I read a good book. When babies are hungry, that's right, they cry. Coffee changes color if you put milk in it. So, what do these sentences refer to? That's correct, general truth or facts. Now have a look on the verbs in all the sentences. What is the tense used? Well done, present simple. So, verbs in the two halves of the sentences are in the present simple. Now, what is the structure used? Excellent! The zero conditional. That's right! Good job, grade 8! Now it's time for some practice. Have a look on exercise C from your workbook, page 83. Complete the sentences or questions with the correct form of the verbs in brackets to form zero conditional sentences. And remember, in order to form zero conditional sentences, you need to put the verbs in the present simple. Now pause the video and solve the exercise. Are you done? Now let's check the answers. Question number one. If someone, a nice thing for me, I, Thank you. We have here someone, which is he or she. And we have the verb do. In the present simple, do with he or she will be excellent, does, that's right. Then we have I. In the present simple, after I, the verb stays as it is. We do not add anything to it. So the answer will be 
Say, excellent. Question number two. When someone in need, my family, them. We have someone, again, which is he or she. And we have verb to be. In the present simple, verb to be with he and she becomes is. That's right. Then we have family. Family can be referred to as singular or plural. So the answer will be either help or helps. That's correct. Question number three. I at your stories when they funny. We have I. So the verb will be laugh. Excellent. Why is that? Because we do not add anything after the verb. Then we have they. The verb to be in the present simple with they becomes, that's correct, are. Excellent job, grade eight. Let's continue. I, out if I, my parents first. I have here I, and we have not. So it means that this sentence is in the negative form. The negative form in the present simple, he, she, and it takes, doesn't, while I, we, you, and they takes, don't. And the verb after both of them is in the base form. So the answer will be don't go. Excellent. What about here? Again, I have I and not. Then the answer will be don't ask. Well done. Number five. We have here how and we have a question mark, then this is a question. We have here you. How do we ask a question in the present simple? With he, she, and it, we ask with does. And again, the verb stays as it is. While with I, we, you, and they, we ask with do. So we have here you. So the answer will be do you deal with it? Excellent. Now take a look here. What did we say about someone? It's referred to as he or she. So, what will we do to the verb here? Excellent. We will add S. So the answer will be disappoints. That's right. Last question, my father, the bus, if he walked to where he's going. My father is a he, that's right. And we have here negative. So the answer will be doesn't take, that's correct. What about here? We have the modal verb can and we have he. Can here is already in the present form. So the answer will be can as it is. Excellent job, grade eight. Let's have some more practice. Move to exercise D from your workbook, page 84. Look at the pictures and write sentences using the zero conditional and the prompts given. Let's do the first one as an example together. Let's read the prompt. You mix red, yellow. You get orange. Now, let's think together. What do we need to do? First, we need to start the sentence with if or when. Then, we need to use the present simple. Lastly, we need to separate the two parts of the sentence with a comma. So the answer will be, if or when you mix red and yellow, 
comma, you get orange. Did you understand? Well done. Now it's your turn to pause the video, have a look on the pictures, and form sentences using the zero conditional and the prompts given. Remember to use correct punctuation marks. Are you done? Let's check the answers. Number two, excellent. If or when plants don't get enough water, they die. Number three, good job. If or when you stand in the rain, you get wet. Last one, excellent. If or when people help others, they feel good. Excellent job, grade eight. In order to make sure you understood the lesson well, let's have a quick assessment. All you have to do is read the sentences and correct the underlined verb. Now pause the video and start. Are you done? Let's check the answers. Number one, press. That's right. Why is that? Because the subject is you. Good job. Number two, dehydrate. Excellent. Number three, touch, well done. Number four, cry, that's right. The last one, get, excellent job, grade eight. I'm sure you got them all correct, well done. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood the lesson. Bye for now and see you in another video.